Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. In the last movie we have seen how to calculate the maturity of the product or the expiry of certain medicine. In this movie we are going to discuss dated if function. This is a hidden gem in Excel. For some odd reason this function does not show up when you start typing in. So you just need to remember this and use it wherever necessary. To follow along with me you need to download this workbook using the link in the video description. There are two worksheets in this workbook. See it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate and do it is where you will practice. Alright let us begin. To start I will go ahead and type in dated if function. Notice Excel is not giving me any hint about this function but that does not mean that the function is not available. It is there. The moment I press in the open bracket you will see a small label appears right below that cell that shows that Excel identifies that function. It is okay to use it. This function takes in three parameters start date, end date and a unit measurement. Start date is where you want the function to begin from. End date is the ending point and unit the type of information that you want the function to return is it days months years etc so let me click on this cell first that is the start date for us insert a comma and the end date I would like to have today's date in order to fetch today's date I have a function today if you recall from the past lessons we have used this function earlier now insert a comma and in the third parameter I will insert the letter D for calculation in the number of days and close the bracket and now I press enter on the keyboard now that is the number of days between today and the date of birth now if I drag this down notice how the days are calculated for other dates Similarly for month I can go ahead and use the same function paste it here in the formula bar and instead of D this time I will change it to M and see what happens. It is actually bringing me the format and date. Let me change this switch the format to number. So those are the number of months between the birth date and today's date. Let me drag this down and again for years let me paste that function one more time and in place of D I will put in Y. This will bring me the number of years from that date to today's date. So this is how you calculate using this dated if function. For your reference I am putting up the units and the kind of information that unit will return. You may pause the video and take a read. Now that you know how to calculate the age in days, age in months or years, I request you to go ahead and do the challenge in do it sheet. Here you need to calculate the tenure in days, months and years and I would want you to calculate the days since last anniversary and the months since last anniversary based on the unit measurements that you have just learned. I'm sure you would be able to do it. Do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below in case if you get stuck and I will be happy to help you further. I hope you find this video helpful in doing calculations with dates especially while calculating the tenures or the age of a person. In the next video I will help you learn how to generate random numbers between certain ranges. Also how to generate random dates. That way you should be able to generate some handy data to do practice. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos. Until next time.